Give up trying out that casing. Um, all right. Go over here front foot elevated. Let's take a look at our front foot elevated split squat. This, as with most exercises, can be done with or without load. Um, and we can also vary the height of the front foot elevation. For today, I've got Janelle, we're gonna work at about a five and a half inch height. Um, this, is, this is kind of moderate. Some people will go higher, but a lot of us actually need to start lower. What's gonna happen with the front foot elevated split squat is that we're gonna end up with deeper knee bend. We're gonna put the quad the, of the front leg especially into a really, really deep angle when we're in the bottom of the split squat. And that's gonna be great for building strength and end range, but it's also just gonna mean the exercise is a little bit more challenging than it would be with both feet on the floor. The last piece here before we start, when I use the designation of a split squat, a split squat and a lunge look very similar. In fact, they both put us into, uh, they both put us into a deep knee bend in the bottom position. For me though, the difference between a lunge and a split squat, a lunge, you are always bringing the foot back and then returning to full standing on every rep. With a split squat, what you'll see is that we pin that back leg back and then we move through our vertical range of motion for a designated number of reps before we step that forward to full standing. So, we're gonna have Janelle get set up. She's gonna have one foot on the plate. The other foot's gonna be back a bit. She's gonna make sure that she's on the ball of that back foot and that the heel is pointing straight back and not turned in. She's good. And then I'm gonna have her just brace her abs with a little bit of force. She doesn't have to work too hard. And then she's gonna bring her hips straight down. That back knee is gonna come close to the ground. And do you guys actually see how far forward that back knee is? That means that she's a little too short on this one. Let's come back up. Let's sweep the left foot back a couple more inches. Great, let's go for five on this side. Great, Janelle ends up with just a tiny bit of lean forward in the chest. That's absolutely fine. That's related to some tightness in this left hip, I think but she's moving vertically up and down. And again, let's not get too concerned with depth here. If the back knee is willing to touch the ground, awesome. If it is resistant, either be respectful of that range of motion or go to a lower, uh, go to a lower height up the front. And let's go for four on the side. Good, good adjustment. Great, thank you Janelle. And that is our front foot elevated split squat.